Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 11th of 2022 well, it is titled Orion's Belt Region in Gas and Dust. So what do we see here? Well, this is the belt of Orion. And we can see the three bright stars there that make up Orion's belt. And those are the stars known as Mintaka on the left, Al Nalam in the middle, and Al Natak at the right hand side. And those are the three stars that we're often familiar with when we look at the constellation of Orion and see the three closely spaced uh, stars in the belt. Now for those in the northern hemisphere, this is actually upside down. So we would see the Orion Nebula off to the upper right hand side off the image. And normally we're used to looking at that for those of us in the northern hemisphere, at least we're looking at that down below uh, the belt of Orion here it is up above. So it would be the view the inverted view through a telescope, or would be the view that you would see in the southern hemisphere. Now there is also an annotated version of this image that we can see. And as we look at that here, we can see those three bright stars labeled. And we also see a couple of the prominent nebulae labeled as well. Off to the right of Alnitak, we see the Horsehead Nebula, a very prominent dark nebula, which is present in Orion, and is actually a dark, dusty region that is blocking out the light from behind it. So there is more material there, and there is a blue reddish glow due to hydrogen gas, as we see all around the Horsehead Nebula. Just within that nebula, there is too much dust that it blocks out that light from behind it, so we can't see through it directly. However, we can use things like infrared radiation and infrared images images would allow us to penetrate through that dust as the longer wavelengths are better able to penetrate the dust and give us a view inside the Horsehead Nebula. Down towards the bottom is the Flame Nebula, an example of an emission nebula, uh, which is the hydrogen gas, which has been excited by ultraviolet light from the stars. And that then causes it to glow. And that's actually a lot of the reddish glow that we see here is that hydrogen gas. Now the Orion region is a prominent star formation region and we see evidence of star formation as we look through it in terms of the younger stars including the stars in the belt and the lots of nebulae that we see as well the things like the flame nebula and the horsehead nebula where stars are either currently forming or have recently formed. So this is one of our be best stellar nurseries to discover not because it's the largest one but because it has happens to be the closest being only about 1500 light years away. So one of the easiest to be able to study. So that was our picture of the day for January 11th of 2022. It was titled Orion's Belt Region in Gas and Dust. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.